Uh, there's a lot of people inside of it. The important thing right now is to isolate where they believe maybe threats are uh, in terms of the initial motel room. Um, they're going to have uh, those who are staying there shelter in place until we can safely do evacuations. That takes time. It's not something that we can be hasty about, um, but we have to take our time doing it. Uh, in regards to the uh, officers' conditions, up, there's no updates at this point in time. Uh, when those updates become available, um, California Highway Patrol will speak about officers' conditions, and then also I'll give you updates uh, on our deputies' condition in regards to it. Uh, the suspect as well, who was transported to the local Honda that shot uh, on the back side of the motel room and jumped from the balcony, got into a car, and got into a pursuit. Whether he was the only shooter in there during the initial shooting through the door and the walls, we don't know. There could be possibly be multiple shooters, but we won't know that until we secure that room, we see if there's any more suspects inside, or whether any more any other weapons were used besides the one that the uh, the suspect we have in custody had. With this being a really active situation and very dangerous, talk about how are the officers trying to protect themselves as they go in trying to search for potential suspects? You know, our, our tactical operators are, are well trained uh, in terms of barricading themselves and, and having points of cover. Uh, that's why it's important during these times to have certain equipment uh, to respond to these. We had an officer get killed in the line of duty. Uh, his name was uh, Robert French. He's a 21 year veteran of our department. Well known, well respected training officer in our department. Uh, he was killed. Uh, he died on the way to the hospital uh, during the treatment for his gunshot wounds. Um, he is survived by his living girlfriend. He has adult children and grandchildren and his sister who are all um, at the hospital. Um, the two CHP officers that suffered gunshot wounds are both in stable condition, expected to survive, and more information will be released about them from the CHP um, later on. But I'm happy to answer whatever questions that I can. What do you mean by stable condition? Are they in good, fair, are they going to survive? Well, I'm not a doctor, so I don't want to misuse the condition, uh, misuse the, if it has a technical term, uh, but they are both in, in condition that they will recover from. Do you have details on the, on the gunshot wounds to all, all three officers? Uh, I do not. Um, I know that our officer was shot once in the side, uh, and it looks as though...